All right, everybody, welcome to the Creators Channel, the Secret Creators Channel. We just uploaded a video where I showed you guys how to optimize our um, modular space corridors for Unreal Engine. And then I promised you guys that I would upload it to the site so you don't have to do it yourself. And uh, in this video, I'm just gonna show you guys how to insert it into an existing Unreal scene. Okay, so what you wanna do to get this working is go up to Render Crate and just search for corridors. You'll see these pop up. If you click here, you can go to the download options and there's an Unreal optimized version. Go ahead and download that. Once you download that, you wanna to navigate to where you saved all of your Unreal projects. Now I have one here called Cyberpunk. If I open that up, this is what a default Unreal project looks like. And there should be a folder in here called Content. If you take the Corridors folder that you just downloaded and drop it just straight into Content folder, that should be it, should just work. But let's test this out. I'm gonna go into my game real quick. Right now the game is nothing but this dude that I made. You can see just to prove it, there's nothing else in here. No corridors, nothing. So all I have to do is drag and drop the modular space corridors into the content folder of my project. And I shouldn't even have to restart my project. So if we look here into the content folder inside of Unreal, there's now a modular space corridors folder. Again, we didn't even have to restart the program. There's all the assets we were just talking about. And these should just be plug and play. I just drag and drop it into the scene. All the materials work, it all looks great. All the collision stuff we were talking about, it all just works. So Unreal's pretty awesome, it's pretty plug and play. I can press play, walk around, run into the walls. You can even see that he walks up the wall now because we have the accurate collision. It's very cool, very cool stuff. All right, so that's it. We may convert more of our assets into Unreal assets. So we'll let you know if we do that. But hey, if we don't do it, now you know how to do it. I'm just gonna sit here and play this awesome video game that I made. You guys know the drill, make it awesome. 